we're leaving Clifton Bay here in Union Island and going to the next bay called Ashton. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got him falling. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> no, Han, don't start like that. Why? Whenever we say we're going on lobster hands, it goes bad. Yes, yes, how you don't egg. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. After checking into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we were ready to explore. We're leaving Clifton Bay here in Union Island and going to the next bay called Ashton, I think, uh, by Frigate, Frigate Island. Supposedly the kite surfing there is pretty cool and I keep going to see if you can get up on the board. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go there, check that little bay out, and then move on to Chatham Bay. After Chatham Bay, we'll that's like a quick 10 minute motor. And then we'll head off to Tobago Keys and go snorkel and check out all the pretty turtles and uh, parts of the Caribbean island. Go see that. This is our new anchorage spot. It's quite a cool spot. But this is Frigate Island over here. And then we got this little breaker here between us and the ocean. Yeah, it's good. Not much chop. It's comfortable. That's the exact model boat that when we started watching videos 14, 15 years ago that inspired us the Antares 44. Still love that boat, I think it's amazing. Um, beautiful boat. And yeah, this is a kiting spot we're going to practice on kiting. And our friends want to enjoy over there. Ah, it's a sweet spot. Once we were all situated, it was time for Ricky to bring out the kite gear. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got him falling. <laughs> After kiteboarding, we headed to shore for some ice cream and a walk. Say hello! hello. Say hello YouTube! Hello! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Use those legs. <laughs> You see, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Pretty crappy weather today. Ricky tried to go kite boarding and then the wind was just all over the place. So we're gonna lift anchor and move over to the next bay here on Union Island called Chatham Bay. And we're gonna hang out there and see what there is to do. And I'm gonna try to finish up okay. an episode and have a relaxed Sunday and then, yeah. You ready to Hello. rock and roll? Yeah, let's get out of here. Next bay. Another day. Another bay. day, another bay. Oh, look how like misty it is. Sun's coming out though.
Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. Once we arrived in Chatham Bay, we had to go test out the swings at the bar. Chatham Bay is definitely the cruiser's hangout in Union. We're on a mission to catch some lobster today. No, Han, don't start like that. Why? Whenever we say we're going on lobster hunts, it goes bad. Like we never see anything. <laughs> And then when okay, we're, we're like just dive. going diving today, yeah. all kitted up. <laughs> mm. So we're gonna go over here at this Chatham Bay, and uh, supposedly that the there's nice reefs and stuff to dive and check out. So we're gonna do it. Do you know who's my dive watch? Hopefully, it's nice. Because I had to go and open my big mouth, all the lobsters went into hiding, so we decided to bring out the fishing rods. There was no like with the lobster today, because you know, obviously I said we're going lobster hunting, and when I say we don't catch anything. But now we decided we're just going to come hang out on our dinghy, and um, put our lines out and maybe we catch something, I don't know. Not at least we had fun. So the first attempt just doing some top water. I mean if the top water doesn't take, I'm gonna go and drop, get some live bait, and then after getting the live bait, then we'll um, get some live bait. Our fishing luck was on par with our lobster luck, but we managed to catch a fish to make some bait for our upcoming fishing adventures. Getting ready to lift anchor and head off to the next island, Maru. Um, Union Island was pretty cool, but I think it's time to say goodbye now and we've stayed our stay and we've seen what we needed to see. Um, our last stop here was Chatham Bay. It's a pretty cool bay. Definitely recommend stopping in Chatham Bay. I think it was our favorite bay out of the whole of Union. Um, it's super chilled, a lot of boats, you meet a lot of people and nice beach as well to go and walk around. So we enjoyed it here, but yeah, it's time to move on for show. And we're excited to see the next island and make our way up. We got a little bit more of head on winds, but luckily it's a very short little sail. Or in our case, it will be a very short little motor. 
to the super yachts. This place gets busy. The first day we pulled in here, like 50 boats and like three super yachts. It's pretty How can we say that at the same time? Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Never expected because of where it is on the kind of leeward side of the island, but it's like there's not really much to do. But it's popular. There's a lot of boats. Even today, there's still a lot of boats. More boats coming. But the weather's going to subside a bit, and we're going to get down to like 15 knots, and it'll be perfect to do um, the Tobago Keys because that's really unsheltered from what we've seen on the charts. Yeah, we generally want to want to spend one to two days on each island i mean if you try to do longer you'll not get up north we want to get to martinique and oh there's so much left to see it's crazy we only started <laughs> After having a misty wet morning motor, it cleared up as we got closer to Muru and boy was this place gorgeous. Ricky and I always love feeding the birds that land on Lady Africa. At this new anchorage and it's so close that so we decided we're not going to drop the dinghy. We're going to hop in the water and swim to shore. Ricky's just going to check the anchor because yeah, we were having a problem. Colin's anchoring. Woo! Your anchor! My anchor! It's not good in the water, eh? Sunday. He's leaving. Okay. Yes, yes, how you don't egg. And that, folks, is exactly why we check the anchor every time we anchor Lady Africa. We anchored at the new spot at uh, Moreau Island. Salt Whistle Bay. Salt Whistle Bay. This place is, is special. It's special and it's jam packed. <laughs> yeah, it's jam packed. Got a nice little bar here. And we swam to the beach from our boat. We haven't done that before. What did we do? We swam to the beach from our boat. Yeah, that's how we close we done anchored. That before. So we haven't beached the boat, but we're almost there. <laughs> we anchored in one meter water, but the, then we pulled back to about 1.7. But yeah, it's super cool. But check out, full of coconuts. We'll hopefully get a coconut here and open one up today. Bring the machete. 
Salt Whistle Bay also seemed to be a hot spot for kiteboarders. We're just taking a stroll. We stopped in Salt Whistle Bay. Now we're on our way. We're gonna attempt to walk to Saline Bay. They say it's about 1.5k walk. No, 5k. 1.5. Oh, definitely walk. We're not attempting. Well, you know the sun is hot. Might stop on the way for a little juice. And then we go away. But uh, yeah, we want to see this island out and... Uh, we want to see this island out. We want to see it out, man. <laughs> Ricky's hating on me today. Big ol' uphill. Straight up. But yeah, we're going to go walk and explore. Okay, we're done. Okay, 100 meters, let's go. <laughs> Just kidding. those islands personal opinion mm -hmm. do you prefer St. Vincent and the Grenadines or do you prefer Grenada so far on your experience I think they have two totally different things to offer in sense of boat work and island I think Grenada is better in sense of water sailing all of that St. Vincent St. Vincent is better oh sure yeah so, yeah, that's my take on it. Wow. So we walked to the Catholic Church. Insane. They say the Catholic Church has the best outlook, and it really does. Like we can see the Tobago Keys from here. So we're gonna stop tomorrow. It's so pretty. Give him, give him a little. How close all the islands are to each other. It's, it's really awesome. Cool. I love it. No night sailing. Yeah, More adventuring. So He's on the hunt to find us prickly pears. Can't just grab that stuff. It's a it's a cac on a cactus. <laughs> I think that one could be ready. No. That one there on the end. No, it's too small. Maybe they're miniatures. They live on the island. They don't grow tall. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't take yeah, he's ready. He's but not ready. That's the route. The route to get there is not ready. And the thing is tiniest. It's not ready. I don't think a pair of flip flops will last me a season. Yeah. I bought Ricky pink penguin flip flops, and he doesn't like them. He bought me pink shorts too. Do you regret going to Salt Whistle or are you happy to on Salt Whistle and this was nice to see? Uh, it's nice to see but it was nice to come walk out. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is amazing. This is like top notch. So we have a dinghy dock here. Which is cool because I like dinghy docks. Ricky likes beaching. It seems why there's such a nice dinghy, like why the super yachts stop here though is because there's such a nice dinghy yeah. for them. They can park their tent bigger easily. And it's they don't have a beach. dinghy, they have like a boat. Boat. Yeah, big ass freaking tender. Me and Ricky just like said, half to sum up the Caribbean. Goats on the loose, chickens, dogs, colorful houses, churches, and bars. And big bass music. And big bass music and beautiful beaches and water. And, Caribbean. and, and, and. <laughs> Caribbean sorted. And the mama goat. See? Goats on the loose. Ricky's tired from my little walk. Okay, mind you, it was like literally just uphill. <laughs> now we have downhill, no, but I'm it's tired from the beverage. And yeah, we had a little pit stop for a drink, and now we're going back to the boat. 
No. Oh wait, we have to row back to the boat because Ricky was too lazy to put the um, engine on. We gotta, the we gotta row off. like 20 meters at the most. <laughs> it's true, but after walking, <laughs> I feel like we're we can literally let the wind blow us. It That's was easier to swim, honestly, to the boat than to row. <laughs> so one's rowing skills are terrible. My rowing skills are bad. I'll double row back. Be like. Okay, let's go. We got this. Let's do this. I got One of those this. Greek, Greek thingies. I did rowing. I did rowing at the gym, but it's oh, not the fine. same. <laughs> you did. You did high school swimming too, and we know where you can. Ricky's always making fun of my athleticism. Athleticism. Yeah, that's a word, not. Yeah, I think so. It is. Let's Come go. Let's go. Oh. Stay tuned till next week when Ricky the Coconut Slayer comes out and we go snorkeling with the turtles in Tobago Keys. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.